일을 그만두고 무작정 값싼 유럽행 비행기를 예약했다. 여행지에 도착하자마자 코로나 바이러스에 대한 뉴스로 전 세계가 시끄러워졌다. 바이러스 핑계로 내 자신을 이 낯선 도시에 묶어둘 계획을 세웠다. 나는 마침내 고향을 떠나왔다. 안개가 자주 끼는 그 도시가 싫었다. 그리고 부다페스트에 도착한 지한 달이 되었다. 과거의 영광에 아직도 취해 있는 그곳, 독립운동의 성지, 정신문화의 수도, 이런 말들은 결국 현재의 비로함을 증명하는 게 아닌가 라는 생각이 자꾸 들었다. 물론 이런 얘기를 한 번도 입 밖으로 꺼내본 적은 없지만 언니와 남동생 하나 둘 서울로 올라갈 때도 나는 그곳에 남아 있었지만 그 지루함은 결국 터져버리고 말았다. 바이러스 때문에 여행자 숙소도 손님이 거의 없었다. 부다페스트에 묶여버린 나와 비슷한 처지의 다른 남자와 얘기를 잠시 나누었다. 숙소 밑에 층에서 커피를 마시기로 했다. So for how long you've been here? About a month. About a month. Well, that's quite a lot. Did you find any favorite places here? I didn't really get to visit many places, to be honest, because of... Oh, yeah, of course, because yeah. of the virus. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, right. Yeah. Yes. Where are you from? I'm from Iran. So you must be from Tehran? No, I actually come from a small city, mm. Shiraz. Yeah, it's in yeah. South. Yeah. Oh, I'm curious about your town. Tell me about it. Well, there, there's so many things about it, but like, like for me, like the most important thing is the weather. Okay. Yeah, I know it sounds funny, but yeah, the weather. I think, yeah. Yeah, like it's it's really special there. Like it's it's warm at the same time dry, but you know it feels so nice that you can see sun all the time. You know, it feels really good. You know, you just wake up and you see the sun. Yeah. So where are you heading after the city? I don't know. Like I've been traveling for three years. I think it's three, three years. years. Yeah. So yeah, like I've been in many places, but I don't know, like Budapest, you know, look at it. Like it's really beautiful, like Buda Castle, like everything is beautiful. But, you know, there's something that I'm missing, you know, like the feeling, the vibe that I had back in my hometown. That's something that I can't find it here. You know, like the, the feeling that I had when I was playing like with my cousins, like my grandma's backyard, you know. The vibe and like the taste of the cake that my grandma used to bake, you know, it's it's something that, you know, you can't just feel it, you know, it's this vibe. Anyway, like I, I think that I'm just talking too much about myself. So, where are you from? I'm from Korea. Korea, Seoul. No, I'm from a small city called Andong. Oh, I don't think it's. No, I've never heard of the one. people. No, you know, it's a. Not so interesting city, actually. Come on, why? Like, my city was not that, like, come on. Like, I had a lots of good memories about it. T like, tell me about the weather. Well, it's really foggy. It's the foggiest part of the country. And that's one of the reasons why I don't like my city. Forget the weather. Like, forget it. Let's talk, I don't know, let's talk about something interesting. I'm sure you had something interesting about your... Like childhood or something. Interesting. Um, well, there is a tree that's really old. It's 600, 600 years old. 600 years old? Wow. Well, that sounds like interesting. Do you have any like childhood memories about it? or? Yeah, we celebrate the first full moon every year um, by the tree. Yeah. With everyone, family, families, and friends. Is it? But okay. Like, is it kind of tradition, like that you do mm -hmm. it? Yeah, it's a big tradition mm -hmm. of the country, and especially my town celebrates it quite big. Yeah, that yeah. that sounds interesting. But I don't know. But do you have something personal 
like any personal memories about it something that you used to like i don't know well first of all there is an old tale saying that if you sleep under the full moon you would wake up with white eyebrows and when i was young i got so sleepy all the time and you were supposed to stay awake for the whole night um when i was asleep my sister would put flowers on my eyebrows and yeah i always hated her for for that <laughs> yeah it sounds really interesting you know like the funny like the nice thing about it is that like it's not just a childhood memory it's something that it's like related to your like tradition and it's really cool you know yeah i really like that when are you going back Kokariaku. Hmm. Kunde. Kudichinamu tarinna. Hmm. 